So as we said in the last video, we introduce ourselves in the first line, I am writing to, and this part enables you to tell your audience or tell the person that you're writing to exactly what it is, what the purpose is of the letter. So I don't need to copy exactly what I'm doing, so, but I'm just giving you an idea as to what you could do for the first line. So you could say, um, you obviously have to be polite, with, with um, even though it's a formal business letter, you still need to be polite. I am writing... Um, to let you know about some ideas I have for the school. As simple as that. Now you can adapt your sentence. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as that. I'd rather you thought about something else. But please try and be polite. So then the next thing we do once you've written that first line is to do carriage return or enter and again because it's a new paragraph we need to tab over here now this is the main body of our letter the main section this is where we go into a little bit more detail about what it is you're going to say and you're going to need to try and be persuasive with um, what it is you're asking for so we need to include some persuasive language so here I'm going to give you some ideas as to what you um, might need to answer with this section. Um, and I don't need to do these square brackets, but this is just for me to just say that there are some questions that you need to ask yourself. Because you need to say exactly what your idea is in this section. So what is your idea? Please don't copy this. This is just ideas for you to try and answer. In a few sentences in this section... What do we do at the moment? Okay. How will it benefit the school? If you can argue that there's a benefit to the school, then that will help your cause, It'll help you to be more persuasive. What are the financial Costs. Have you researched that? Do you know how much it will cost? Okay, so you got you can do that in a few sentences. Don't forget you need capitals at the beginning of sentences. Um, don't forget your punctuation. So it's a full stop directly after um, the word and not a space. And then after that, if you're going to do another sentence then it's a space and you start your next word okay the same with commas try to split your sentences out and use commas and, and all that kind of thing now if you get something a spelling wrong so if I was to spell costs like that no I was hoping it would underline it in red let's try that it underlines that in red so what I do with my mouse is right click on here and click on um, the correct suggested alternative. If it underlines in green, that means you've got a problem with your grammar. Okay, so once you've finished that section, finally you go on to um, the the part where you you're kind of going to leave it. Um, so the polite thing to do would be to say, "I hope you." can consider my suggestions and I look forward to hearing from you. Something like that. Again, you don't have to copy. And then if you've got any white space here, you need to just press your delete key and bring that back up there. And that looks a lot nicer.